In the world of energy, one word that has been gaining attention is hydrogen. But why is hydrogen so important? And what role does Germany's 525-kilometer hydrogen pipeline play in this? Today, we'll explore the facts behind this impressive infrastructure, how it works, and what it means for energy use in Germany and beyond. First, let's clarify, what exactly is a hydrogen pipeline? Just like pipelines that transport natural gas, oil, or water, a hydrogen pipeline is designed to carry hydrogen gas over long distances. Hydrogen is a colorless, odorless gas that can be used as a fuel. Transporting it efficiently is key to making it widely available for industries, transportation, and even heating. Hydrogen pipelines are specially designed because hydrogen is the smallest and lightest molecule in existence. It can easily leak through materials that would be airtight for other gases. This means the pipelines need to be made from high-quality materials, often steel, and have special coatings or linings to prevent leaks. Germany's 525 kilometers of hydrogen pipeline represent one of the most extensive networks in the world. While it might sound like a massive infrastructure project built overnight, this network has evolved over decades. In fact, parts of it date back to the 1930s, originally used for industrial purposes like chemical production. Today, the network is primarily located in the Ruhr area, a region in western Germany known for its industrial activity. This area has a high demand for hydrogen, as industries use it in processes like refining metals, producing fertilizers, and making plastics. So, how does the pipeline system actually function? It starts with the production of hydrogen. Hydrogen can be produced in various ways, but most of the hydrogen in Germany's pipelines currently comes from natural gas. This process, called steam methane reforming, separates hydrogen from natural gas. However, there is a push to transition toward green hydrogen, which is made using water and electricity from renewable energy sources, like wind and solar power. Once the hydrogen is produced, it's compressed to a high pressure so it can be sent through the pipeline. Along the route, there are compressor stations that maintain the pressure and ensure a steady flow. These stations are critical because even slight pressure drops can disrupt the system. The pipeline network connects hydrogen producers with large industrial consumers. For instance, steel manufacturers use hydrogen to reduce iron or into pure iron without the need for coal. This process is not only efficient but also produces water as the only byproduct. Instead of the gases typically released by coal, the hydrogen pipeline network in Germany plays a vital role in supporting industrial activity. Germany is Europe's largest economy, and its industries are among the most energy-intensive in the world. Having a reliable supply of hydrogen helps industries maintain operations, meet their energy needs, and stay competitive. Moreover, pipelines are a more efficient way to transport hydrogen compared to trucks or ships. A pipeline can move large quantities of hydrogen continuously, whereas trucks are limited by their capacity and the time it takes to deliver the fuel. This is especially important for regions like the Ruhr area, where the demand for hydrogen is high. Germany isn't stopping at 525 kilometers. Plans are underway to expand the network significantly. By 2030, Germany aims to have a hydrogen pipeline network spanning over 5,000 kilometers. The expanded network will connect hydrogen production hubs in Germany with neighboring countries, creating what some are calling a hydrogen backbone for Europe. This expansion involves repurposing existing natural gas pipelines to carry hydrogen. Repurposing is not a simple task. It requires checking the integrity of the pipelines, replacing certain sections, and adding safety measures. However, it's faster and cheaper than building entirely new pipelines from scratch. One key reason Germany is focusing on hydrogen pipelines is that they align with the country's broader energy goals. Germany is phasing out coal and nuclear power and looking for alternative energy sources. Hydrogen offers a versatile option that can support multiple sectors, from industry to transportation. For instance, hydrogen power trains are already in use in Germany. These trains run on hydrogen fuel cells and produce only water vapor as emissions. The hydrogen pipelines ensure a steady supply of fuel for such applications. Whenever pipelines are discussed, safety is a top concern. 
Hydrogen is flammable, and leaks can be dangerous if not detected and addressed promptly. Germany's pipeline network is equipped with advanced monitoring systems. Sensors along the pipelines continuously check for changes in pressure, which could indicate a leak. In addition, the pipelines are buried underground to protect them from external damage. Regular maintenance and inspections are carried out to ensure the system remains in good condition. The hydrogen pipeline network also has significant economic implications. By supporting industries, the pipelines help preserve jobs in sectors like manufacturing and chemical production. They also attract investment in new technologies and infrastructure projects related to hydrogen. Germany's focus on hydrogen has spurred innovation, leading to the development of fuel cells, electrolyzers, and other equipment. Companies specializing in these technologies are benefiting from increased demand, creating a ripple effect across the economy. However, it's important to recognize the challenges associated with hydrogen pipelines. One major issue is cost. Building and maintaining pipelines is expensive, and producing hydrogen, especially green hydrogen, is still more costly than using fossil fuels. Another challenge is public acceptance. While pipelines are generally safe, communities may have concerns about having them nearby. Transparency and communication are essential to addressing these concerns. Finally, there's the question of scaling up hydrogen production. To fully utilize an expanded pipeline network, Germany will need to produce much larger quantities of hydrogen, ideally from renewable sources. This will require significant investment and technological advancements. While hydrogen itself is a clean fuel when used in fuel cells or combustion engines, the way it is produced can have significant environmental impacts. As of now, much of the hydrogen produced in Germany comes from natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming. This method releases carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, contributing to air pollution. Even if hydrogen is used as a clean fuel, its production through fossil fuels still has environmental consequences. The process of extracting natural gas and refining it for hydrogen production involves environmental risks, such as habitat disruption, water contamination, and air pollution. Until the majority of hydrogen production shifts to renewable methods, these concerns will remain relevant. Germany's 525 kilometers of hydrogen pipeline may not grab headlines like other large infrastructure projects, but they are an essential piece of the country's energy strategy. These pipelines ensure a reliable supply of hydrogen to industries, support economic activity, and lay the groundwork for a future where hydrogen plays a bigger role in energy systems. As Germany works to expand its pipeline network, it faces challenges, but it also has the opportunity to lead the way in hydrogen technology and infrastructure. The future of hydrogen depends on technological advancements, careful planning, and ongoing investments in research and development to overcome these obstacles. Until these issues are resolved, hydrogen will remain a promising but imperfect energy source.